Hi, my name is Mark. Today, I'll be showing you how to spawn a prefab in Unity 5.2. If you haven't used Unity before, just know that Unity is a software tool that allows you to create video games relatively fast. Also know that prefabs are storage containers in Unity that, that allow you to save common game objects such as bullets, enemies, and player characters. So with that knowledge, I'm going to demo a simple script that spawns a single prefab this box many times per second. If we hit play, we see this. We see boxes flying everywhere. There's different colors, there's physics, it's crazy. And you would think that the code powering this is very difficult to understand. And you know what? It's so easy to do. This is Unity 101, honestly. So, let's go into the code. Uh, okay. This looks a little scary to people who probably haven't coded before. But I'm going to be straight up honest, this is like, this is easy. So, first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up the parameters that we're going to use. Right here, we're going to call a function once per frame. And this is spawn box. And this is called about 30 times per second because there's about 30 frames in our game. So yeah, we're going to call this function right here. It's called spawn box. And we're just going to do everything in this function. And the most important thing here is that we're going to instantiate a prefab or spawn, a prefab. So right here, this is the function that does it. Uh, instantiate just takes three parameters. It takes the box that, or the prefab that you want to spawn, in our case, a box. And we're going to you know, spawn it in a position that we give. And we're going to give it a random rotation or a set rotation. And that's that. And honestly, the rest of this is just fluff. Uh, this just gives it a random size. This just gives it a random color. It's very simple. So we run that scene again. There it is. You know, and that's it. I mean, it's spawning prefab in Unity is very simple. They made it so easy to do. It's, it's such a joy to use, honestly. And with that, that concludes my tutorial. And I hope you got something out of this. Thank you.